Hi, welcome to Milk and Honey Heritage Farms, and I'm Heather. So today I am going to do a chicken dish. It's gonna be a stuffed chicken, and I'll show you what I'm going to be adding to it. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, like, share, sub subscribe, and make a nice comment. So let me show you what I'm adding. Okay, so honestly, so what I have here is some fresh grated Parmesan mozzarella cheese, some diced up mushrooms, some tomatoes, some white onion, and some long green onions. Really, you can add anything. You can do bell peppers. You can do different types of cheeses if you want to. Um, you just dice your pieces up really small. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all my ingredients and you don't have to have a specific um, measurement of how much that you're going to use. It depends on the size of your chicken pieces that you're using. So basically <clears throat> you might have some extra left over. And what you can do with the leftovers is you can mix them in a, um, some sort of uh, pasta or a salad mixture if you would like, if you have extra um, ingredients left over, which is perfectly fine. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna be adding in half a teaspoon of garlic. You can add less or more if you want. Um, you can add some pepper to it as well if you want. I'm going to be using a Greek vinaigrette and I'm going to be using oh, probably a quarter of a cup because you don't need too much liquid in there. Um, you can use an Italian dressing or something of that sort. And then you're just gonna incorporate whatever ingredients you diced up small together so that it's all mixed and integrated throughout so that you have an even disbursement of all the items getting that vinaigrette added to your vegetables. And you know, a rainbow of vegetables in your daily diet, if you can, is I think, that's my opinion, as of a good benefit. All right, so then we're gonna take our chicken and I have a casserole dish. I'm gonna preheat my oven to 350 and I am going to use a fork and you're gonna take a skinless chicken breast and you're gonna wanna be very, very careful while you're doing this and you're gonna wanna slice it through the middle. You have to guess the best that you can what the middle will be. Don't go all the way through. You wanna leave about half an inch, just like that. And so it opens up like that. And then what you do is you put your mixture of whatever um, vegetables in there. You can add herbs in there as well, whatever kind of herbs you want. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to put the top piece of your chicken down, kind of like that. You're gonna use in your little baking dish, a little bit of oil of your choice, olive oil or whatever kind of oil that you choose to use. Don't use too much. We don't need to use a whole lot of oils in our cooking. At least in my home, I try not to. So I just put you probably can't see that, just a little bit to help so it doesn't stick. And then what you'll do is you'll place your chicken, stuffed chicken breast very carefully. Can you see that? I don't think you can see. Let's get you over here. Let me move it, moving, 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 okay. So you're gonna very carefully, you can use a spatula or whatever you need to do to get that piece picked up and gently placed into your baking dish. And so I'm gonna do, I have two more chicken breasts. I'm gonna do those as well. And I'm gonna be adding 
probably about a quarter of a cup of water into the bottom of my dish, just so that way there's moisture. And then um, I'll season the top. I'll bring you back and show you what that looks like in just a moment. So with my three chicken breasts, what I did is I sliced them down lengthwise and I put my finely diced mixture of whatever vegetables that you want in there. I added the cheese and I mixed it with the vinaigrette. And then I lightly put a tad bit of oil, oil of your choice on the bottom. I try not to use too much oil. And I put a quarter a cup of water down on the bottom to help ensure that my chicken doesn't dry out. I will bake it at 350 degrees for 30 to 45 minutes or more if needed. You wanna make sure that your chicken is cooked thoroughly and that there is absolutely no pink in your chicken. I did sprinkle some pepper on the top of that. You can do whatever seasoning you want. I didn't add any more salt because I did add the garlic seasoning to it. And I'll show you what it looks like when we get done with this video. Thank you so much for joining me and hang in there. All right, just before we pull our chicken out of the oven, I wanted to mention that this is an open collaboration hosted by our treasured home and it's called hashtag chicken collab. And I'll put that in the description. Visit our treasured home. What a sweet channel. Um, and anyways, this hashtag chicken collab is a collaboration of some kind of a dish that you create at home with chicken. Simple as that. So let's take our chicken out and see what we got. Ooh, it smells so tasty. Oh yeah, look at that. And I have extra liquids because liquids come out of your chicken when you cook it. And you know what that means? That means my chicken is not dry. So it's um, nicely seasoned. What I'll do is I will use some kind of a spatula and I will pull my chicken out of the liquid and put it on a plate with a nice salad. So let me show you. Look at that. Mmm. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Delicious. So let's see what your chicken recipes are. I can't wait to see what everybody's got planned. New ideas are always amazing to share. So share some new ideas. We could all use something different, right? Give a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share. See you on the next one. Thank you so much for being here. Have a beautiful day.